Uh, so now I need to make a carriage walk so that whenever I'm doing like uh, facing moves or cut, uh, part off procedures, whatever, I can lock the carriage in place, make it more rigid. So for that, uh, I'm going to do it kind of along the lines of how a lot of people do it, pretty standard. Take this piece of aluminum uh, square stock and I'm going to cut it to fit into here and I'll grind out uh, the archway there for this way over here. And I'll drill into here, about here and here, tap it in there, drill through here, bolt it into that. Then I'll have a hole drilled down right here and then I'll have a, for the bolt to go through then I'll have a spring on it here and underneath I got a piece of quarter inch plate that I will cut to length drill a hole in the middle of it for the time being I'll just use like an allen bolt and uh, you know hit it real quick with the t-handle tight, tighten it down compress the spring tighten it down latch it in place so all right we're gonna drill out the notch for the ways That's why you don't mill on a drill press. Alright, got the part made here. Let me see where my truck fell out of the drill press while I was milling it out. All right, so everything's done. I've got the aluminum uh, stock that I drilled, filed, machined down to this guy here. Uh, this will set bolt on to the carriage, set above the ways. Got a piece of quarter inch plate drilled and tapped for the bolt that will go through the clamp. Uh, so there's that, and then the spring right here that will ride in between them. Uh, the spring does have quite a bit of pressure on it. Uh, it's more than enough to keep this from rotating as it's moving back and forth. The trick was to shave enough off the ends here to where it didn't catch inside the uh, inside the ways. I did only go with one bolt instead of two like I had originally planned uh, primarily because I just didn't feel like doing a second hole uh, and also this one here I drilled it out a little bit oversized so there's a good amount of play on here and the reason for that is I will lock tight the brass bolt into the carriage keep this just ever so slightly loose so that whenever I tighten this down it's not just pulling this up from the bottom but it's also pulling that down as well. So we get this uh, mounted up and we'll check it out. So you can see the 
Allen wrench in there. See that it's kind of spins a little bit. So what I think I'll do, uh, it's really not that big of a deal because I'll leave it loose and out of the way altogether when I'm not needing it. And whenever I do need it, uh, I'll just reach down there and and hold it. When I latch it down. But if it does become an issue. Um, I'll go back and weld some tabs onto here to act as uh, guides to keep it keep it straight going through the ways. And here's a shot of it from above. You can see I rounded the corners to fit in here better. Uh, just drop down, wrench down in there, tighten it up. All there is to it.